welcome back or welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a misty transformation video tutorial type of vibe. basically beginning to end of this whole look so if you want to see how i did it and i will link all of the products and everything that i use in the description box if you're interested then keep on watching all right y'all so i'm about to start on like the costume prep i'm following a tutorial that i watched on youtube this girl right here her costume came out super good her video was super helpful so shout out to her y'all go check out her video but yeah Except the wig. I'm not doing the wig like she did, but anywho. Um, so I'm about to do the prep, which is putting all the puff paint on all the scales. Yeah, let's go do that. It needs 24 hours to dry. We have a Halloween party tomorrow, October 19th. Today is Friday, October 18th. And yeah, it's one o'clock. I'm doing my costume around like 3, 3.30 tomorrow. So it's one o'clock now, so it should be dry by then. Pardon me. I'm sorry. I sound nasal and gross. I don't... I don't know what's happening. I did just wake up and I tend to sound like that when I wake up, but anywho. Let's get started on this costume so i did go ahead and lay her out on the floor i'm not gonna do the back side because i did see where some people said when they did the back side like getting stuck or like sticking to certain surfaces and stuff when they sit down because the puff paint so i'm not gonna do the back so i did lay her out the this half up here is the mannequin i used in the beaded top slash bra tutorial then i stuffed the arms with pool noodles and the legs with towels because i didn't have anything else i don't know what to stuff it with so yeah i didn't lay her out last night i want to do the boob part that she did like making little cups to go inside of the boob area so it looks like defined like more realistic like the actual misty costume so i'm gonna see if i can figure that out i do have this stuff she recommended what is this these little plastic pellets moldable plastic pellets so you can like it say on here hold on she said something about tree flex or i don't even know what that stuff is I don't know. I've never used none of this, but it says you just pour it in a container and put warm water in it and then wait for it to turn clear, which is about one to two minutes. And then you remove it and start molding it to the shape. So I, it sounds pretty simple. I'll just mold it to like a cup. I use my bra as a guide, but yeah. And then she just put some adhesive on it and stuck it in to the costume and then lined this with like fabric. So it's not uncomfortable against the skin, I guess. So I'm gonna use quilting batting because that's all I have. And then I have this Loctite spray adhesive. They say you can use this on fabric, so hopefully that'll make it stick. And then I have my puff paint here. It has two extra bottles of the blue somewhere. I just gotta find it. And I did get some black because I know there are like shadows on some of them, as you can see. I don't know if I need to go over those with that or not, but I got it just in case I felt like doing it. I probably won't. But anyway, let's get to it. All right, y'all, I got my warm water. And then I have this sticky boob that I could follow, but I also got my bra right here. I cut a piece of parchment paper out in case I needed it to keep it from sticking to it or something. I don't know, but just in case. And then I also have a sticky boob, so I could use this too. Um, but we'll see. Yes, let's go ahead and do it. Don't mind my Anthony Hamilton playing with that. Anthony Hamilton don't win all this music soul child. But okay, let's cross our fingers here because I have never done this. They say you're supposed to add the particles first and then the water. I think it'll be fine. I don't know how much I need, so. Maybe that's enough. Wait for it to turn clear, one to two minutes. Okay, y'all, I switched containers so I could change out the water. Cause I think my water had cooled off some. I just used the hot water straight from my sink and boil it or nothing. We got hell water in our sink. So our, our hot water will like actually burn me, but it's done turn clear, like it turned clear as soon as I put it in here. So I ain't sticking my hand in there though. It did say use a tool to get it out. So let me do that. I feel like I should have used more than this. I don't think this is enough. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need this whole bag. I'm gonna just pour the whole bag in here. All right, we've got two bahoobies. Hopefully it turns out right, I don't know. Hopefully the lumpiness won't be too, you know, apparent once I put the quilting batting over it, but hopefully they come out all right, I don't know. I'm gonna let that harden and let's move on to the puff paint. I did already start a little bit on the puff paint while I was waiting on this to harden some, like hold enough shape for me to sit it down. See, I started on that foot over there.
All right, I cut out some of the quilting batting, so I'm gonna just take that Loctite spray, this, and glue on there. I think I'm gonna add these into the costume like when I put it on because I feel like I need to like put them up against me and then like glue it on so they sit in the right spot on the suit. Yeah, and it only takes 10 minutes to dry so I'll have time to do that. But the first one should be dry so I'm gonna cut this off and then put some on the inside. All right, today's.
All right, y'all, I'm done with the puff paint. This took way longer than I thought. I worked on it for like two hours or three hours before I had to leave to go to the store because I had a grocery pickup. And then I got back and worked on it another three hours, three and a half. So yeah, hopefully it'll be dry. Yeah, I know it said 24 hours and like some of these up here are dry, but they're a little bit thinner. So I don't know, I just hope the rest of these are dry and I didn't do them like too thick for the ones I did past the 24 hour mark. I don't know, we'll see, but it's done. I only did the front and like the sides of the arms. I didn't do the insides of the arm. I did the outside of the arm and like the hand. Anyway, yeah. Okay, so now I'm about to do the scales for the face. In the video, she used like tool and like traced her forehead area and this part of her face, I think and then apply the puff paint to this. Now I ain't gonna keep being bothered with this puff paint because if it ain't dry, I'm, I'm gonna be mad. So I saw a girl use hot glue, so I'm gonna use hot glue. And then when I put it on my face, I'll just paint over it, yeah. So let's see, hopefully that works. But once I trace my forehead onto this, I'll lay this on parchment paper and then use the hot glue to do the um, face scales. Okay, that's the forehead piece, so now I'm gonna do this part. I'm gonna just trace over this one for this side and then just Flip it over and mirror it. Okay. Now we just add some scales with some hot glue. And then that way, when we put it on, I just have to stick the whole patch on there. I have to individually put the scales. All right, there it is. So I'll just cut it out and then glue it to my face. All right, y'all, costume time, makeup time. I'm already late, the party. Well, people are just now starting to get there. It started at 6, 6.45, people are starting to get there, but I'm not ready. So anyway, first things first, wig. I'm just gonna spray it down with the uh, this. Kiss Colors and Care Lace Gone Spray. I'm gonna put a layer of this down first and then spray it. Okay, the hairline is not covering my hairline at all on either side. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add the mousse to it because she got a little slick moment going on. So let's do that. I'm just using a lot of body foamy mousse.
right, let's clean off this residue with some alcohol. All right, let's start on this makeup. I have the Meron makeup palette with the 30 colors, but I also have the individual one. So I got the shade Lagoon Blue and dark blue so let's see which both of those colors are in this palette so i don't know if i should put like white down first or what i've never worked with this before but it says it's highly pigmented so it's water activated so we'll start with lagoon blue oh okay yeah you're it I'm going over it now with the dark blue just a little bit because I just feel like it could be a little bit darker. I look insane. All right, so now I think I can go in with the setting powder. So let's contour and add the scales. I'm gonna use this dark blue shade in this Coastal Scents 78 Shadow Blush Palette. Super old. This is OG girlies know what this is. Okay, I'm adding a little bit of black from this Coastal Scents Neutral Palette 28 because this blue ain't doing it. I'm gonna go over my brows. I'm gonna put some black eyeliner in my waterline. This is Wet n Wild. Uh, baby's got black, I think. Okay, let's do some, a little bit of liner with this pencil and mascara. Okay, let's add the scales. I'm gonna use Pro's Aid adhesive to put it on, so. Let's go like that. Okay, so I'm gonna add the ones on the side off camera. I just went over it with the dark blue paint, but um, yeah, I'm gonna do these two off camera and then I'll come back to the lips and the contacts. Period. Okay, and cover up these lips. I'm gonna line it with the darker blue. Period. 
Periode. I'm debating if I should do lashes because I'm already super late. But I think I should just pop in these contacts and be done with it, right? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I'm scared. I don't want to mess up my makeup. I feel like I should do the contacts first. Ugh. Oh my God. Because this really killed me last year with um, Avatar. Oh no. No. Oh my God. It's making my makeup run. Oh, oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna do this off camera because I can't. Ooh, I got one in. Ooh, my God. Ooh, let me put my outfit on so I can get out of here. Jesus Christ. All right, y'all, and this is the costume. This is the finished look. I think it turned out super cute. It went by a lot quicker than I thought, and the hot glue on the tool, like as one patch, well, three patches. Love that idea, absolute lifesaver, time saver. So shout out to the girls video that I watched that suggested that. Yeah, y'all, what well, y'all think? I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hate I had to rush it, but I was already super late to the party, so. I insert some pictures, go watch and like my TikToks and follow me on TikTok. Yeah, but that is my mystique costume cosplay video tutorial whatever let me know what i should do next i think i'm gonna do a few more costume looks before halloween so yeah y'all that's it for this video hope y'all enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye